G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to do the final part in this series, maybe. As I said in an earlier part, there might be a secret bonus one. Um, and that's... This is going to be about music. Um, music, I don't feel like I'm knowledgeable about at all. Because even though I really love music and music is in incredibly important to me, I don't really follow along with the commercial bands. And when I say commercial bands, I just mean like any band. Uh, I'm more into like, oh, I like this video game soundtrack, or it's like, this movie score is great. But that's usually where I get all my musical influence and musical uh, fun out of it, and just my enjoyment, and that's where I go to listen to music. Uh, while I do buy a lot of albums, I still feel like I know almost nothing about music in general. And it took me a long time to be able to get out of the current... Uh, box that I felt that I was in, like, before we go on any further, uh, in these videos I've been using a small scale to try and mark down where I feel that I am in terms of knowledgeability about uh, this given form of media, and when it comes to music, on a scale of 1 to 10, I feel like I'm a 2 or even a 1, um, and that's just to say that uh, for most of my life, when it came to music, I only heard what was on the radio or what was immediately available to me. Uh, and when I say radio, radio was always on in my house. Uh, we didn't, it wasn't so much like TV. Um, it would be very classical music uh, that they would play around the news or it would be something that was the, the pop music of the day. But I always found my calling in metal. Uh, Heavy metal and just metal in general uh, were some of my favorite genres, or some of, it is my favorite genre now that I think about it, of music. Um, I feel like I'm more knowledgeable about that than most others, and I'm fully willing to admit that for a long time I completely like just dismissed and did not care about things like uh, rap and uh, pop and classical. Those were just completely uninteresting to me, and it wasn't until... I'd say about uh, late, late high school, where I was just finally like, I'm, I want to get out of this box that I'm stuck in. And if I could explain that to you guys for a moment, it was, there was a lot of pressure um, that because I was in a uh, metal sort of scenario, I, I listened to metal and people around me listened to metal, that if I wanted to go on forums and explain to people, oh yeah, I really like this and this and this, then if you showed any appreciation for any other form of music, then they would be like, you're not a true fan. I mean, if you went out to a concert and people would just be like, oh, what other you know bands have you seen in live? And I'd be like, oh, I like this one and this one. It seems to be extremely divisive. Like, I can tell you right now that I've... One of my uh, concerts that I went to was Ailstorm, and I had a fucking blast going to see Ailstorm. By that very same token, I've seen Metallica... I've seen Judas Priest, I've seen uh, Mastodon, I've seen a whole bunch of live bands, but depending on who I speak to, I might have to be like, you know, cut that down or remove one. Uh, I've seen Voyager, for example. But at the same time, if I was to tell people that, and the reason I brought up Ailstorm for, like, first is because that's pretty divisive amongst certain people. Um, even though it falls under the genre of man, uh, metal, there is so many sub-genres of the metal genre. You just, um, there's just too many to say that, yeah, we are all metal, but at the end of the day, we, I might like doom metal, uh, because it's all slower. I might like thrash metal. And that's the thing with thrash metal. If I was to say to most people out there, hey, I'm a fan of Metallica, boo, you suck, you know, it would be that kind of, you poser, you're not really into metal, that kind of stuff. But no, these days I, I listen to whatever and... Whatever makes me feel like, hey, this is super cool. Uh, whatever gets me feeling hype is usually good music to me. So I'm talking about... Uh, I'll get into more of the metal uh, bands that I really like later, but just uh, speaking in terms of favourites, my favourite albums of all time. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to pick a couple here, because there's not a quintessential favourite album for me. Um, most of these will be metal 
albums, but that's just, you know, how I, how I do. Uh, so, my favorite, or one of my favorite albums is Metallica's And Justice For All. I like Pantera's Vulgar Display of Power. I like Bloodbath, Resurrection Through Carnage. I like Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe. I really like, um, what's one that's not metal? Well, one of my favorite rap album of all time is A Tribe Called Quest, uh, Midnight Marauders. And that's my favorite rap album. Uh, I think that it, uh, even the album that Tribe Called Quest released this year is fucking amazing. Um, it's still not my favorite album of 2016, but it's very close. And uh, that's another thing, like, I, I've barely delved into rap. I mean, I listen to DMX and uh, Kanye West. I have heard various tracks from T-Pain and Neo. Uh, I know that none of these might be, they might not even be very good, but I've tried delving in. Um, I've tried my best in getting into some music. Um, I think uh, Life of Pablo was pretty decent, although, uh, was it my Dark Twisted Fantasy? Or something along those lines that I, I feel like that one was better. And I definitely prefer uh, I Am A God. Just uh, It's just humorous and funny to me. So, I mean... And I, I suppose that's what I never got about uh, rap. Or at least certain styles of rap in the beginning. Is that you have to take it with a, a bit of a smirk, if you will. It's a bit tongue-in-cheek. It's not all like they... Or at least I personally don't feel like they really mean this stuff. Or it's just like a bunch of like showing off. And hey, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating. But uh, those would definitely be uh, some of my favorite albums. Uh, not the Kanye albums. But they're good. But uh, definitely A Tribe Called Quest's Midnight Marauders. That's up there. Uh, in terms of other songs or other bands, I'll just go through a bunch of bands that I really like. Um, so we've got Accept... Uh, Daft Punk wasn't a fan of their latest album. Uh, we have Black Sabbath. We've got Danzig, Dokken, uh, Laceration Mantra, uh, Motorhead. Once again, I mentioned Ailstorm before. You actually, you know what was one of my favorite uh, albums that I just remembered then? Um, something I used to listen to constantly, 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 uh, all throughout uh, my high school years. But it literally only just clicked uh, to me then. Merciful Fates, uh, Don't Break the Oath. Uh, there's nothing wrong with, like, Melissa, but Don't Break the Oath was the one that I will just fucking listen to over and over and repeat. And it was... I, I don't know, that's that album has some really strong uh, emotional ties to me, so I, I feel like that one deserves to be in the top, or at least one of the top songs that I've... Uh, or albums that I've ever heard. Um, I like Lordy. I like Lampathoth. I like... Uh, or Toth, depending on how he's... I like Judas Priest, as I mentioned before. I like Mastodon. I like some songs of Voyager. I like Dark Throne. I like Led Zeppelin. Uh, a, a lot. Uh, Aerosmith is uh, uh, another one that I really, really like. And once again, that might be completely different to what people would have expected. I like most of the big four of thrash metal. Uh, I like Anthrax, Slayer, and Metallica. Not a big fan of Megadeth, gonna be honest. Another controversial thing when it comes to metal. Not a big fan of Iron Maiden. Too much repeating choruses over and over. Too much... I don't... I don't fucking care when people are just gonna be like, Oh, but what about this band you mentioned? And what... I know, but I don't care. In my opinion... Iron Maiden released a couple of good songs, and I will uh, not really think about them for the rest of time. I absolutely hate some of their albums, by the way. Um, I like Van Halen. I like I'll, uh, uh, Alcatraz. I was listening to them before, actually. Um, Rob Zombie, obviously. I made a, a video about his album that released this year. But you see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of bands, and I feel like I still don't even... I haven't even mentioned any real pop ones either. Like, I love a lot of 80s music. Like, there's a lot of 80s stuff that I'll just go back and fucking listen to on repeat. 
but um, I've never really listened to most of their discography. I just know a couple of their hits, so I don't feel comfortable saying that I'm a fan of the band. Um, all those bands that I mentioned, I'm not sure if I did mention Danzig, but like I, I he, Danzig, I've listened to all of the albums, and some of them are really awful later on. Uh, but like that's what I mean. Like I want to listen to all of the albums before I make uh, a judgment per se. Um, I would also like to shout out, uh, Dan Johansson. Dan Johansson's like, uh, he's done amazing work. Uh, my favorites are either probably Tablets of Gilgamesh, maybe, but my favorite song, uh, eh. oh, okay, a little biased, Black Hole Syndrome's pretty, uh, pretty awesome, but like, I feel like a lot of his albums are super cool. Um, I can't remember if it's pronounced Suinthia, uh, one of his latest ones. That was great as well. Fucking Testament is awesome. Uh, yeah. And when it comes to metal, I feel much more comfortable being like, those guys, yeah, cool. Um, uh, maybe, maybe a Monomath. Maybe, um, I think... You see, once again, when I when I think like that, uh, I'm just like, have I had a, heard all their albums? Uh, not a fan of ACDC that much. I like Queen. Um, speaking of Queen, and there will probably be a direct uh, parallel for some of the audience out there. I'm not sure how much of a crossover there is with uh, this other form of media that I like. But I really do like Queen and Savage Garden, for reasons that will be, it, it, well, very obvious to a certain subset of uh, people watching this. But Savage Garden is another one of those, like, can you imagine uh, going to a metal concert and having some dude turn around and be like, yeah, fuck, I can get into Savage Garden, like Savage Garden. Yeah, like, I want you's great. Or it's just like, uh, Ticket to the Moon and Back. As of the 1st of January... 2017, that's where I feel like I am, uh, I would love to listen to more discographies from just bands, I'd just love to, like I hear th amazing things about experimental bands like the Mars Volta, but I'm not sure if I could really get into them or not, um, there's a lot of other bands that I haven't mentioned here that I'm going to fucking go off camera and I'm going to be like, fuck, <laughs> um, like Pharaoh. Um, I'm sorry if I'm missing out, because I love a lot of them, it's just like, there is a lot of metal bands that I get into, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned Led Zeppelin, but, or the Jimi Hendrix experience, but, there's a lot of bands that I really like, and I, going forward from, uh, 2017 onwards, from January 1st, I would love to listen to entire discographies of more and more bands, I would love to have a more cultured appreciation. And the one that's really going to fuck me up... I don't want to say this. Uh, I would like to listen and maybe even buy more modern songs. And I know that most... Like... This is really rough for me because, in my opinion, I feel like most modern songs are fucking just rubbish. Like, they're just... Like, when I'm making this face and this expression, you should really understand that it's just this absolute contempt that I have for them. It's like they're nothing. I can see them as no... They have no artistic merit. They're not trying to say anything or be very introspective about themselves, they're not trying to deliver an impassioned message, they're just like, give me that fucking money. And uh, if that comes across in a song to me, if I feel like the artist is just in it for money, then I'll be like, fuck you. And I get it, like, everything in the world is run on money. But, you know, don't make it seem like you're just doing it for a quick, like, buck. Just... At least, you know, continue faking it in such a way that, you know, I wouldn't be able to tell. If I'm your audience, I would love to be able to hear something cool. So going forward, I'd like to get into some more modern artists. 
because I feel like there's a lot of modern artists that I think are shit, and I'm probably wrong about that. But a lot of people are getting into the whole rap thing, and I'll, I, that might be my gateway into uh, modern music because I, with those couple that I mentioned, Kanye is still kind of modern, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First step is bargaining. But anyway, uh, that is the end of this series, maybe. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, that's where I am as of the 1st of January. I think I am really looking forward to, uh, Jan well, not just January, but 2017 as a whole. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching this entire series. And uh, it'll be fun to look back and see... If I got any more educated in music in the years to come. See you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck, what am I doing? Should stop doing this.